Hello, everyone. My name is Yalong Yan, an assistant professor in the Department of Computer Science at Virginia Tech. In this talk, I'm going to present two intensive user studies comparing different interaction techniques for revealing embedded details in matrix visualizations. This is a collaborative work with my amazing collaborators from Harvard and CMU, including Wen Yu, Fritz, Carnina, Robert, and Hans Peter. Matrix is a widely used visualization in various domains and applications. It is a compact way to visualize a large amount of data. The very initial idea of this project came out from my first conference presentation at IEEE Viz. I presented our work on visualizing origin destination data by connecting two geographic maps to a matrix. Let us focus on the matrix part. Like every other matrix visualization, we use colors to encode data values. Every matrix cell shows one number. Here, we are looking at more than 2,500 numbers in one view, which is quite impressive. Then, there was a question in the Q&A asking, what if there is more than one number in each cell, and how should we visualize and interact with such a multivariate matrix? This project aims to provide solutions to this problem. The most straightforward way is to embed a visualization in each cell. Let us zoom in to see how it looks like. Here, we are using a line chart uh, as an example. We are not the first one doing this. People have put different types of visualizations into matrix cells, and embedding charts into every single cell works well for relative small matrices. However, for large matrices, the embedded charts will be too small to see. Using an interactive lens to selectively enlarge a region of interest is a promising solution. But there is another problem. The standard magnification lens introduces distortions that break the regularity in a matrix. That is, you can see the lines in the focal area are no longer straight. These irregular shapes introduce difficulties to embed visualizations. We then investigated the literature and identified four representative lenses suitable for matrix visualizations. I will introduce them one by one. Here, we use grayscale colors to ensure our studies were accessible to a larger population. Our first lens is adapted fisheye lens. It ensures the cells around the focal area are in regular grays and distort the surrounding cells. The cells in the context area are intact and in their original size. The second one is the Cartesian lens, which determines the scaling factors according to the distance from the cursor to the cells. It ensures that cells are still in the shape of rectangles. However, the cells are all in different sizes. We have two different variations of table lenses. They both enlarge a certain number of rows and columns around the cursor and compress the remaining rows and columns constantly. The main difference is that the cells are stretched to rectangles in the stretch version, while in the step variation, those cells are not affected by adding additional gaps between them. We are interested in how those different distortions can affect the effectiveness of interactively revealing the embedded details in the matrix. We started from thinking about the typical workflow of using those interaction techniques. The user needs to first identify the targets, then move the cursor to the target to reveal the details, and finally interpret the details to make sense of the data. Oftentimes, it's also important to switch between the focus and the context. These steps can be considered as four components. We finding, travel, interpretation, and context switching. We focused on the three interaction components in this study, that is, we finding, travel, and context switching. To systematically explore those components, we designed three fundamental tasks. Locate, where participants need to click on a specific cell highlighted with orange outline. This tests the travel component. Search, where participants need to search for a cell with the highest single value in a region. This tests both the wayfinding and travel components. Context, where participants need to find the largest cluster at the time instance where a given cell reaches its highest value. 
This tests all three interaction components in one task. We then run a within subject study with 48 participants to compare their performance. We found accuracy was high across all conditions, so we focused on analyzing the completion time. In the locate task, our participants were faster with fish eye and Cartesian than with the table lenses. Within table lenses, the stretched was also faster than the step variation. In a post hoc analysis, we found one potential reason for the bad performance in table lenses. Like demonstrated in this figure, the distortions in table lenses do not allow the users to precisely land on the target column. Please see our paper for more detailed analysis and discussion. In the search task, all conditions had a similar performance. Cartesian was slower than the other three in the contest task with a small effect. We believe the different cell sizes in the Cartesian lens affects the performance of contact switching. Lenses are not the only interaction techniques that can reveal details. There are other two widely used interaction techniques, Overview Plus Detail and Pay and Zoom. In Overview Plus Detail, we allow the user to show the details in a separate view. In Pay and Zoom, the user can zoom in to reveal the hidden details and then can zoom out for an overview. We then run another user study with the same tasks comparing the best performing lens from the first study to those two different techniques. In both the locate and search tasks, we found pan zoom performed the best. The fish eye lens was also faster than the overview plus detail. Overall, Pan and Zoom had the best wayfinding and travel performance, which aligns with many other previous studies. In the contest task, we found Overview Plus Detail outperformed the fish eye lens and had a similar performance as Pan and Zoom. We also found participants clearly did not like the lenses, with the lowest re usability rating and the highest mental and physical demand ratings. In summary, we conducted a systematic evaluation of interaction techniques for revealing the details in multivariate matrix visualizations. We found within the tested lenses, the fisheye lens was the winner. When comparing the best performing lens to overview plus detail and pan and zoom, we found pan and zoom had the best performance. We believe our results can serve as empirical evidence when people need to select interaction techniques for multivariate matrix visualizations. Thank you very much for your attention.